Halo guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is my second vlog. This is me Riana Nurmila Dianti Putri from Islamic State University of Sunan Gunung Jati Bandung and I'm taking Sharia Accounting major. So today I'm gonna tell you about today's attraction because I live in Purwakarta so here it is okay guys before we go don't forget to prepare your habit style first don't forget to use your mask then don't forget to bring hand sanitizer Purwakarta is a small town between the capital city of Jakarta and West Java's capital, Bandung. Purwakarta Regency was much better known as an industrial area. However, over the time, Purwakarta grown into an attractive destination in its own right that showcased its authentic identity as the cultural window to so the Sunda ethnic groups, way of life of the people of West Java. First destination is Situ Bulat. This place is located in the central government. Based on history, Situ Bulat already exists a long time ago. People say it's a place for one hornet rhinoceros Takasok. Situ Bulat was rebuilt and became an attractive destination because the idea of R.A. Surawinata region. The process of building from 1830 until mid-year of 1831. Until now, Situ Bulat still became a landmark of Purwakarta. The popularity of Situ Bulat not only in indigenous society, but also out of the town. And now, Situ Bulat has water fountain in the middle of the lake. It named Sri Baduga's water park and became a biggest water fountain in South Asia because it's standing on two hectare ground. This water fountain has a spectacular, colorful laser light and it equipped by various facilities and securities like a lot of entrance gates, parking area, and reachable access. My suggestion, you have to visit this place at night because you will see a spectacular dance between a colorful laser light and weather fountain accompanied by a beautiful music instrument. In the weekdays, outside area of Situ Bullet became a jogging track but you also can use inside area for jogging too but it has operational hour besides jogging you also can cycling but it's only in outside area this place is open every day weekday starts at 6 a.m until 8 p.m and if we can starts at 6 a.m until 10 p.m for the weather on the show, only performing at Saturday night. And it's free entry, yay! Next destination is Balai Penyawangan Diorama Purwakarta, Education Tourism in Purwakarta. Sorry guys, because it's pandemic, so this museum is temporary closed. Don't worry, I ever went to that place. A behind story of Balai Penyewangan Diorama Purwakarta, it starts when colonialism era. This building was a huge factory, but when Purwakarta became regency, this building managed by government and became a region library for a several years. Before, ex Dedi Deddy Mulyadi changed the building into a museum. The dioramas has a vintage and aesthetic building. Inside the museum, it has a high technology for presenting historical information, so the visitors doesn't need to read. 
there has nine areas that showing different information. There are number one, Balai Prabu Maharaja Lingga Buana that showing Sundanese historical. Number two, Balai Prabu Niskala Wastu Kencana that showing a Hall of Fame of Purwakarta leader. Number three, Balai Prabu Dewa Niskala that illustrate Purwakarta in the past since 1620 until 1799. Number four, Balai Prabu Ningratwangi that showing the information about Purwakarta in Dutch East Indies era 1800 until 1942. Number five, Balai Prabu Jaya Ningrat that illustrate Purwakarta in Indonesian National Revolution era and Japanese occupation of Indonesia. Number six, Balai Prabu Ratu Dewata that illustrate foundation of Purwakarta before independence of Indonesia or it starts when tragedy of Rangas Dengkok 1945 until 1950 and liberal democracy 1950 until 1959 Number 7 Balai Prabu Nila Kendra that showing guided democracy of Indonesia in Purwakarta 1959 until 1967 Number 8 Balai Prabu Surawisesa that showing information about Purwakarta government era 1968 until 1998 then the reformation era 1998 until now Number 9 Balai Kipa Rasa that illustrate the Jaya Purwakarta Istimewa in 2008 until 2018 this museum opened at place only and it starts at 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. and it's free entry you just have to fill the visitors book at the receptionist okay guys and the last destination is Taju Gede Cilodo a big mosque that became a new icon of Purwakarta is located in Bungur Sari Road. Ta-da! What? It has a unique things in other mosques. Standing on 10 hectares, and it has a similar architecture like Wali Songo Mosque. Beside praying, Taju Gede can also be an attractive tourism. This grand mosque has three roof level. It symbolizes of three pillars that must be carried out to all Muslim. There are Muslim pillars, pillars of Iman and Ihsan. Beside that, Taju Gede Cilodong also has four pillars that symbolize for leader mazhab of muslim there are imam abu shafi's mazhab imam maliki bin anas mazhab imam muhammad bin idris or imam shafi's mazhab and imam ahmad bin hanbal mazhab the other unique things from tajuk gede Cilodong is this mosque has nine drums these nine drums it symbolizes nine levels of human life. This mosque is open every day and 24 hours. The entrance is free, but if you bring transportation, it will be charged for parking. Motorcycle, 5,000 rupiah per hour. Car, 20,000 rupiah per hour. And bus, 30,000 rupiah per hour Thank you so much for watching this video Hope you like it And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe this YouTube channel